so I wanted to give you guys an update on the soft top Miata that I installed about a little over six months ago. Um, I am really, really happy with it. If you guys didn't see it, I'll put a, uh, a thing on the top where you can watch the video where I install the Miata soft top. It came out really well. Uh, let me show you real quick for the people that haven't seen it. It's been six months since I owned it. You can still see through the glass right now, it's dirty. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it and how to keep it maintained. But uh, there's only one flaw with it so far. And I'll show you guys what's going on. And uh, I, I'm doing this video because uh, the video that we installed that, people, a lot of people watch it. It's like almost ranked number one on installing uh, Miata soft tops. And on top of that, I, I wanted to have another video so you guys can see what it's like after six months. And also I wanted to do an update video on the Miata because I haven't really done anything to it. I'm just enjoying it now. So let's check out the soft top. So like I was saying, there's only one flaw on it so far. Um, I'll show you guys right now, but it's been holding up pretty awesome for the most part. So the only problem I've had so far, this has happened about five months into owning it, is this like the seal that's here, it's, it was like glue. I guess with the heat here in California, it finally came apart. Uh, we're starting to get into the summers. Uh, we're starting to get into summer here and it gets about uh, easy 102, anywhere from like 92 to 102. 102 um so that came apart but it doesn't really like destroy it or anything like that but it's still clear um I, I think it'd be hard to show on the camera but there is a little bit of swirl marks on the soft top but i'll show you what i do to maintain it um i basically clean it and i use a quick detailer i'll show you guys that right now in a bit but uh uh like every three months i actually do some compound which i'm gonna do today i'll polish the actual soft how to get the light scratches out of there you're not gonna get the heavy scratches but the light scratches you'll get them anyways one thing i forgot to mention um the soft top which this is the first time i had a hard top before it's the first time owning a soft top as a daily and uh let me tell you the fucking soft top it's not the soft tops problem it's another problem the seals and a lot of water leaks into my miata it's terrible you you'll you'll get out and drive your car and you have a wet seat it sucks and luckily it doesn't rain too much in california so i can deal with it but the problem is not the soft top the problem are these little gaskets right here they're pretty worn out uh i i need to buy new ones but they're so expensive like brand new i think they're like 200 on uh fly me out i think i saw them uh which are oem but they're too expensive i don't feel like i don't i, I can't justify to buy them if i live somewhere where it rained every day i would do it and honestly i don't i don't plan to keep this car way too long i don't know but here's one that already fell off when it's getting hot it goes right here it fell off but i gotta glue that on somehow but uh yeah if you have a soft top um and you want, don't want it to leak i would recommend you change those i don't know what they're called i'll try to find a link and put it in the description down below so i've shown you guys this before but for the new people that don't know um this is basic generic soap from uh, autozone or mcguire's uh, that you can get at most auto parts uh, every time i use a soap i always shake it up really well to get all those chemicals mixed up after that, this is the part of my foam gun. Uh, I'll show you the rest of it, there's more to it, but right now there's hot water. Just get as hot as water as possible that comes out of your kitchen faucet. Uh, the reason why is uh, it, it, when, it, when it's hot water, you're, we're gonna be shooting water from the water hose. It makes the foam uh, really foam up and get really a lot of suds or a lot of sud. Uh, so I'm gonna add this real quick. I'd never measure, I just eyeball it about there that works for me this is the top of the foam gun just basically screws on here then i'll shake it okay that's good and then this is a quick release that comes when you buy a gun uh, this comes with the foam gun so basically this snaps into place and uh that's the complete foam gun and then your water hose goes right here so i'm gonna go ahead and connect the water hose and then start uh foaming the car quick note before we start always try to uh wash your car in the shade the whole time unless your water is filtered or not you're gonna get water spots uh, it's been sitting for a while so i'm gonna shake it again all right we're ready to go all right so the foam gun's out of foam uh, I didn't really explain what the heck the point of the foam gun is, but basically the reason why I foam my cars is to lift up all the dirt that's on there and uh, be able to water it down. Uh, because if you don't foam your car and you just uh, start wiping it with like a traditional, a traditional 
like car scrub washer or whatever they call it. I don't even know if they're climbing and use them in years. Uh, you're basically sanding down your paint. Uh, by doing this process, you lift up the, the, all, the, all the, the dirt particles into the sud, and then when you water it down, it comes off your car, um, which helps prevent swirls and scratching your brand new soft top. This is a quick disconnect, as you can see. It comes right off, now we're ready to water down the, the sud. I don't even know uh, how I went all these years without using a quick detailer to dry my car. Um, I basically did it. It took like twice as long to dry my car. And not even that, it doesn't pop as normally as it does. Uh, this usually rejuvenizes after you have like compound your car and put some wax. It brings the wax back to life. And it literally makes your car look like you waxed it every single time you washed it. Uh, it came out pretty decent, but I had to rationize my quick detailing spray it came out pretty decent as you can see but i didn't use a quick detail spray because i wanted to save it for the soft top because it really brings plastics and everything back to life as you can see right now it's pretty dull all right so i'm going to try uh to clean the soft top with what i have which i know it's not enough i think i'm going to clean the clear part first um after i clean that then i'm going to wipe down the top and then i'm going to go to autozone and buy some more of this stuff because without this you can't do the job correctly so uh, I'll show you the first process of cleaning the clear glass so you don't uh, cause any more scratches on it. So the first thing you want to do is uh, get like a plush uh, brand new microfiber rag when that's clean, no dirt on it. Shake your quick detailing spray and saturate the hell out of this with spray. You can never have too much, okay? What this is going to do, it's going to lubricate it so you don't cause scratches. If you do this dry, you're going to scratch it all up. But only choose one side because we're going to wipe consistently one way. You guys will see in the video right now. This way prevents scratching uh, the best. And uh, from what I've heard uh, other detailers say is that the best way to wipe down is if you're going to make a scratch, you want to make it long ways because it's harder for the sun to reflect. If you make it sideways, the scratch is easier for the sun to reflect because it has a 160 degree. So as you can see, I'm only going to wipe one way. That's it. And that picked up a lot of dirt. I'm going to wipe it again. That picked up a lot of dirt. Let's flip it now. There you go. There you go. And I forgot to mention a spray detail spray on this as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this inside out to the other side. I'm going to saturate my rag. I have nothing left. And then I'm gonna wipe down the top. Cause now there's no more dirt. It's up and down. So now we got most of that dirt off. As you can see, it's nice and clean now. Uh, almost a glass image. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna polish it. So I'll, I, I can't start that process until I go pick up some more of this. So let me go pick up some more and then we'll be back at it. All right, so I ended up going, I went to, I ended up going to AutoZone and I bought myself a new one. Uh, I use this stuff religiously. I'm gonna actually wipe down my whole car again and spray it with this because it just doesn't shine as much as uh, just wiping it down. Um, so I, I dried all the water off the soft top and uh, I'm pretty sure there's dirt par particles on here since I, I had to drive this car. It's my only car I have right now that's driving. Um, so let me wipe this down one more time and then uh, I'm gonna start polishing. And here's the polish I have, what you can find at any auto parts store. It's a McGuire plas Plastic Plastex or whatever. It's a new improved solution. Um, it's very light uh, compound, so it won't leave a lot of swirls. It's like a jeweler finish. So this is okay to, to take out light scratches. You're not gonna get out every single scratch, but you'll bring the, 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 the clear plastic back to life and take all the oxidation that's on there or light scratches that you put on yourself. Um, so uh, let me wipe down the whole top again and then we'll get to this part. So now that we got all the dust off of it, we're gonna add this stuff. And you always wanna use a new microfiber rag. Always use microfiber rags, never use uh, uh, terry cloth or 
towels. So shake all your compounds every single time so you get all that chemicals mixed up. Then you're gonna put a little bit. And remember with compounds, less is more. Cause you want heat and uh, this is basically sandpaper, uh, just very fine. So here we go. So I was gonna go in an up and down motion. Looks like we're gonna need more. All right, so I'm gonna do half the glass now, or half the plastic now. It's going up and down, up and down. Don't go in circles, go one way. And you'll see it start to fade away. As soon as you start to see it go away is because you're pretty much using all the chemical to cut. So I'm pretty on top of this. I'll do this every like three months. I think it's overkill. You could probably do this every like every like winter and every summer. But I want my top to be flawless. It just makes it look clean. All right. So now that's the side that has a compound. I'll flip it on the clean side and start wiping it down. So now I'm gonna do this half. I'm gonna add uh, the compound on the on the same one I added before. Going to up and down motion. So compound really has like these really fine pieces of like, I don't know what it is. Like it's like sandpaper, but in liquid form. Um, this is such a fine grit that doesn't really leave scratches behind, takes out scratches. And contaminants. So you got something here contaminated. I don't know what the heck that is. Usually uh, light compounds are used for paints when um, they're not that badly damaged or they're really badly damaged and they had to use some really rough compound and then they use this to smooth it out like exactly like sandpaper and try not to apply too much pressure. I'm probably only applying like a pound, just my hand, just so it holds the rag. I'm not pushing down. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna wipe it down again. And that's pretty much how I maintain my top. It's really hard for the camera to show scratches, but there's light scratches on it. But for the most part, it's pretty clean. Uh, doesn't look anything close to when I first bought it, when you had that old, like 20 year old one. I think if most people did this, this top should last 20, 30 years. No problem, long as it uh, has uh, stuff to protect it. So um, this stuff actually protects uh, stuff I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of like uv protection on it or some sort uh, it has carnauba shine so that reflects a lot of stuff so um now we're gonna move on to to cleaning the black part right now it's not as shiny it looks kind of dead so we're gonna do i'm gonna spray my quick detailer spray so it uh, absorbs it and it'll be nice and shiny and black so I let that sit for a little bit not too long um, these you're not going to use anymore because these have the little rocks in there, the, the polish, the compound polish, and this will sand it back down and you'll defrate the whole purpose of cleaning your soft top. So I have these stocked up here behind my Evo. Here's a brand spanking new one. So you got to make sure whatever side you use for this, you don't use for this. So to take off polishes, I like to use a short hair side. So I'll, I'll flip it into fours. I'll go in half. And then I'll split it one more time and then I have one, two, three, four different sides, which is pretty cool. I'll rub some of this quick detail spray. Okay. And then uh, start wipe drying it down. And I love this stuff. It always brings it back to life. You'll see, I'll put it in the sun and look brand new. Takes off all the bird droppings any little stuff that you get on it i'm done with the top i've only used this side so i'm gonna flip it to this side and use this side to clean that so spray this again spray this again remember one way only 
One, two, three, four, five. So I flipped it inside out, rub this as a protection, go up and down. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I'll catch you on the next one.